Hello everybody, I am sort of back. It's been a long time and I know I disappeared. If I've been correct, it's been about two years since I last uploaded. I think it was around after Kingdom Hearts 3 since I last uploaded anything. And yes, I have a lot to explain. I'll just say I had life happen and largely I had to choose between two big things. Which was, I was going to school at the time when I was making all these YouTube videos. And I was going to school and college for animation. And if uh, anybody knows anything about animation, that takes a lot of time. Inherently, art takes a lot of time. And it's not usually something you can just kind of put to the side and say, Yeah, I think I'm going to go do something else for a while. You kind of got to work on art pretty much all the time. So I had to make art and do things for school all the time even on my off time so that took a lot of time away from me making videos and it got to a point where i was about to graduate or even even like a year and a half before i was about to graduate we had like final projects we had to focus on in our final film for graduation which took a ton of time so i had to choose between that and then doing youtube and i did have to choose college because i was going for it I paid lots of money to go to college, and I wanted to do this inherently, too. And YouTube wasn't exactly something I could reason with giving it a ton of time. Yes, at the time, I was actually starting to build a bigger channel, and I really was happy with that. I really liked that the channel was starting to grow, and we're getting to start to kind of form a community, I guess. And it was at a time which also was big for Kingdom Hearts, which is Kingdom Hearts 3, but it also was kind of a bad time for Kingdom Hearts, at least for YouTube channels inherently, because, well, once Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, and after about three months, the tide and hype for the game are gonna go down to some point. So that was another reason I couldn't exactly give it a ton of time. I wasn't going to make enough money and grow fast enough to make it plausible for something I could put the time into. And I was really bummed that I had to make this decision because I really love doing this. Probably should have made a video earlier on this, but again, I've been very busy and I guess I'm not going to make any excuses. I should have made a video earlier. Either way, that's a decision I had to make. I also had lots of family stuff happen. There's a lot of stuff in the past year that I think for everybody has happened. But either way, even once I graduated, which I did graduate, I still had a lot going on and I also had to focus on my art because right now I'm trying to basically form my own art business. I wanted to form my own shop and build my brand as an artist. So I had to focus all my energy on that and building that and making all the art that I can to get my name out there. Which then also took away my chance to make videos. And I've kind of wanted to come back and make videos for a long time. I just haven't really been in a place where I can do that. So as you can tell by the 16 minutes prior to this, or 12 minutes or so, which you probably skipped over it most likely, I don't know how many of y'all actually watched it, I plan on trying to make speed art for the channel for a period of time. I don't know how long it is, it could be a long time, it could be a short time. It really depends on how well I do with my art. If it grows fast enough and I can be somewhat reliable and believe that I can be sustained on my art by itself, then I can actually come up with the ideas for making more videos outside of just doing art videos. And if it gets to the point when uh, Kingdom Hearts is starting to pop up again a ton, or Kingdom Hearts 4, I may come back then, which that could be a long time from now, probably I would guess two years or so until we actually hear anything about Kingdom Hearts 4, which that's a long way away, but I could believe that I would come back then and hopefully everything started to grow with my art too, so that would be the plausible point. But if it happens earlier and I grow a lot more with my art before then, then there's a good chance that I could come back beforehand. But that's the other thing. With Kingdom Hearts content, I would probably have to expand off of it rather than sticking with it. Because, again, like the problem with Kingdom Hearts 3, once it kind of goes away for a while, there isn't much to grow off of inherently. Even though I love making Kingdom Hearts content, that is kind of the flaw with picking something to make your channel out of and that's the sole priority of it which is also why I couldn't really expand off it earlier because once I started to realize that which I should have realized that earlier it was too late the things that I posted that weren't Kingdom Hearts just didn't get as much attention and weren't going to grow me as, as much fast enough so I couldn't really come back on that note 
So if I do come back, I will most likely make Kena March content. I would still do my speed paint stuff and then I'll expand off that, whether it be other video games, anime, maybe art videos. I don't know how I'm comfortable with that yet, but just know that if I do come back, it won't just be Kingdom Hearts. They will, it will still have a big place on the channel. It just won't be the only thing to focus on. And I really do appreciate all the people that have stuck around because somehow, well, I kind of had the idea. Some of the videos I did make, I did plan to last a long time because I inherently wanted to help people learn the series. And also I knew they would be something that people would go back to such as the character profiles and the explaining of the stories. So that has actually kept the channel somewhat alive and slightly growing over the past few years, which is a pleasant surprise. But I do really appreciate everyone that has stuck around even before then. It's amazing that so many people have stuck around, but then again, it could also just be everybody forgot that I existed and didn't realize they were still subbed to me, because, yeah. I can't exactly blame anybody for unsubbing after this if this isn't the content you want, such as speed paint, which I can't really blame you, it's very different from what I usually do. Or just inherently because I won't be uploading what I used to as often, or you just realize I exist again and you don't want to be on the channel. I will completely understand if you don't stick around, but if you do stick around, I will do the best I can to make content that I am happy with and I hope that you'll be happy with because I really do miss editing and making these videos for everyone. It's a lot of fun, honestly. And even with the speed paints, I'm going to try to do my best to make them not just normal speed paints. I'm going to put some extra effort into them. It's kind of what I do whenever I edit things. I like to put some sort of flair onto them. But either way, if you stick around, I'm going to do my best to make the best speed paints in other videos as possible when that is inclined. Which... And apparently just both of these going together can really help. It can help promote my art and grow faster to then come back to YouTube to make even more videos. So I feel like me kind of taking advantage of what I've built before and putting it with my art is kind of both helps me and helps y'all if y'all did enjoy my content so I can come back to actually making Kingdom Hearts content again. So... If you are interested in my art, I do do a lot of anime, video game, fan art, and also some of my own original art that I'm really starting to expand into. But I'm, yeah, I'm going to do Kingdom Hearts art, as you can see, with the speed paint that just happened, even if you didn't watch it. It's part of a series I kind of just finished. I have one extra painting that I'm probably going to do with it, but it's pretty much just a series of Kingdom Hearts final battle paintings, such as the final battles in each of the Kingdom Hearts games, and I did the a final scene for each of those. And I just kind of completed the final one for Dream Drop Distance, but I do plan on doing one extra one. And if you would like to see the rest of my art, or the rest of those, then I do have multiple places that I post my stuff. I post on Instagram, DeviantArt, ArtStation, Twitter, and on my shop if you want prints. Oh, and also I'm open for commissions, and I'll post the rates and stuff at the end of the video or right here too. But otherwise, thank you all for sticking around. I am sorry this took so long to make a video for, and it's at the end of an already long video, and man, this is going to be long too. But thank you all for sticking around if you have. And if you don't stick around, I completely understand. It's not that surprising. Either way, thank you all again for watching, and I hope I'll be back consistent soon enough. Bye.